Hey everyone, and welcome to part three of the series. Today we're gonna to be going over how to implement these cards onto the map and display the locations onto the map. Here's an example of what you should have when you finish this video. So without further ado, let's get started in building this out. So here I'm in my search screen. I'm gonna create a new component, or rather two new components. The first one is going to be something called map. So let's create that really quickly. And then the second one is going to be map marker. TSX, okay. So with map, we're just gonna take this and copy it over. So we'll say export const map equals this and let's return that and now we need to import these components so import map view from react native maps and import uh, view from react native then import style sheet from React Native. Let's do our styles below. And we'll make our container equal to this. Styles.container. And let's add another one for our map here. Our map. give it this height of 100% and the width of 100%. Styles.map. Okay, cool. Now we'll Now from this point, we need to actually render in some properties onto our map. So to do that, we need to take in properties here. which will be of type property. And it, well, it's gonna be a properties array. So property array. And within our map view, we actually wanna render out an icon for each of our properties in the array. So to do that, let's create that map marker. So let's import marker from React Native Maps. And let's also import material community icons. Now let's export the map marker component. Turn marker. And let's make that a component. Now within this component, we need a material community icon. The name is going to be map marker, map dash marker. The size is going to equal 32. And the color is something that we will pass into this component. So color. And for our props, let's get into those. So we're going to need a latitude, a longitude, an on press event, and a color. So the lat is gonna be a number, long is gonna be number, on press will just be a void function. and color will be a string. Now for our marker, we need to pass in some props here. Coordinate is going to be an object with a latitude of our passed in lat and a longitude of the longitude we're passing in. 
and we're also going to pass in this on press event. Okay, this looks good. Let's go back to our map. And for each property in our array, we need to display a map marker for it. But there is one thing that's missing from our properties, which is a latitude and longitude. So we need to add that here. And we also need to go back to our search screen, which holds all, all of our properties at the moment. So for our properties here, we need to add in those latitudes and longitudes for each one. But I already did this, so I'm just gonna copy and paste what I have. If you don't wanna do that, just go to the GitHub link in the description and then copy it from the file named properties. It's gonna be in a data folder, which we will create right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna export this as a constant. It's got these latitudes and longitudes. And we're going to go back to our search screen and just delete all of this. And we'll import those properties up here. Okay. So by the way, this is just used as a placeholder for building out the UI. We're gonna get rid of this later once we implement our back end and allow users to input properties. So just keep that in mind. So go back to your map here and we'll say properties.map and we're going to have an item and then the index. We're going to return a map marker here and it's going to need our latitude so we'll go i dot lat our longitude will be i dot i dot long color is going to be dependent on if we're on this index or if we are not so we'll get to that soon and on press is something that we will get to as well so for color, we need to import use state first and foremost. And we're gonna call this state active index. It's going to represent the active property. So const active index, set active index equals use state. And we're gonna initialize it as a negative value. And for the color here, we need to import our theme. And we're gonna say active index is equal to index, question mark. Then we'll go with a blue color. So theme of color dash info dash 400. Otherwise we wanna give it that primary green color. So we'll go theme color dash primary dash 500. Now for on press, let's create a new function up here. Say handle marker press. So there are a couple things that we want to do whenever we press on a marker. The first is to set this active index so that we can get the correct property out of this array. After that's done, we can animate to the location of that property. And we also want to get rid of the navigation bar on the bottom, just to open up the screen a bit more. So let's import platform here from React Native and then account for whether or not we're on iOS. So if platform.os equals iOS, then we actually wanna set a timeout for whenever we're gonna move the camera. On Android, it actually does it automatically whenever you press on an icon. So let's just do this here. We'll do a set timeout. And the timeout's not gonna be very long. Yeah, it's gonna be 100, but we want to move the focus of the map. So in order to do that, we need to actually use a ref. So let's import use ref here and then say const map ref equals use ref, which can either be a map view or null. 
and we'll initialize it to null. Then we'll say map ref .current .animate camera. And This is going to have this property of center and we actually want to pass in the properties coordinates to this. So we'll say latitude will be so the latitude here will actually be the properties latitude and we can get that by using the index that we pass in here and this will be a number we can say properties of that index and then dot lat you could also do this by passing in your item here your i into this function but then you'd also have to pass in your index as well so I just prefer to do it this way and we also need our longitude here which would be properties dot or sub index dot long okay and that, that's good now for both platforms we want to set the active index to this index and we actually would like to get rid of the navigation bar. So in order to do that, we need to import use na navigation from React Navigation slash native. And we need to create a new variable called navigation, which equals use navigation. And you can call it whatever you want. I just like navigation because it's, it's what it is, you know. So here we go, navigation dot set options. And we'll set the tab bar style to an object which says display will be none. Okay, now let's uh, add that on press event here. We'll say handle marker press and pass in our index. Now outside of this map view, we actually would like to display the property card whenever an active index gets pressed. So let's do that here. We'll import card from our local components. So here, let's say active index is greater than negative one. And let's display our card. And the property is going to be property with the index of the active index. And not property, it's properties. So for the card here, we are just going to position it absolutely, give it a bottom of 10 and a height of 360. So let's say styles.card. So before we check that out, let's go and add our map in our search screen. So here, we will say map and we'll say properties equals properties and we need to import map so let's do that here and let's go and check it out so this is what it actually looks like right now, which you can tell it's not looking too good, but we've just got to make a few fixes to the cards and it'll start looking a lot better. So let's get to that. So to fix the cards, let's go to the card component and let's add our own little style here. So we need to import style sheet from React Native. And we pretty much just want to give the card the same styles that we're giving it on the search screen here. So we're going to give it a margin horizontal of list margin, which is really just margin horizontal of 10. So let's just cut that from here and get rid of styles on our animated flat list. Go over to card, con style or styles, equals style sheet dot create. And we'll call it container, say margin horizontal, import that real quickly. We also want to give it a border radius of five. 
and we'd also like to give this a white background color. So let's say background color is white. Now here we'll say styles dot container. And for the image carousel, I think our images are too big. So I'm just going to put this at 200 and take it from there. I think it would look better if the map was actually white or had a lighter background color. So let's add that really quickly. We'll say user interface style is equal to light. For some reason, our animation wasn't working. And that makes a lot of sense because we never assigned this ref to our map view. So that should have been done. Map ref. Now our animation should work if you're on iOS. And if you're on Android, it should work automatically, at least in my case. With those changes made, now let's compare what it looks like on iOS and what it looks like on Android. So this is the functionality on my Android device. As you can see, you can go through all of the different locations and it will animate for you and you'll see the different cards here. And this is what it looks like on my iOS device. Same feature, same animation, it's looking good. We still need to make a couple changes, but we will get into that right about now. So we want to add the functionality to our map such that when a property is currently focused, when there is a property card on the screen and a user clicks on the map, and not on a property, then the property on the screen will go away. So to do that, we need to create a function called handle map press, and then uh, pass that into our map view. Call it handle map press. And really, the unfortunate thing is, I've only been able to get this to work on Android. If for some reason, it doesn't seem to work on iOS, and I've gone down a rabbit hole trying to figure that out. So I just decided to put a X in the top left corner of the map, and if the user wants to exit out of the current property, they can just press on that X. In order to do this, we're going to say if the platform.os is equal to Android, then we want to do two things, which is set active index to negative one, and then and then we want to set the tab bar style to flex. And this is going to be its own function, so let's make that right now. We'll call it unfocus property. property okay now we need to pass this into the map view so on press oh, that's why on press equals handle map press now to get the X in the top left corner we need to go down by our card and the same conditions are applicable here we don't want to show this if the index is a negative number and we're going to say here platform.os is equal to iOS and then we'll have a touchable opacity here so make sure you import that from React Native and within this we'll have a material community icon the name is going to be close the color is going to equal theme color dash primary 500 and the size is going to be 24 okay now we need to add some styles to the touchable opacity so let's let me just copy those over so these are the styles that we're going to add we're going to give it a background color of white we're going to give it a padding of 10 
It's going to be positioned absolutely. The top is going to be 170, left will be 15, and the border radius of it will be 30. So let's add those styles onto the touchable opacity. Style equals styles.exit. And on press is going to equal unfocused property. Now let's go into our header logistics file. And every time we press on either the list or map button in the top right, we want to set the tab bar style to show the navigation. So let's do that here. First, we need to import use navigation from React Navigation. Let's create our variable here. And let's say, let's just go into our map and copy what we have, then paste it right here. paste and let's go and check it out so here is what it looks like on Android we can select by pressing on the icons here but we can deselect by pressing outside of there on the map and this is the functionality for an iPhone where you can select a property by clicking on an icon but to deselect it you have to click on this X so next we want to add this functionality where users can search for a location and then get the properties with that location. Or they can also search this area on a map. So if that looks interesting, make sure to stay tuned for the next video. And thank you for watching this one.